Hello. Sorry about cell phone quality. That's just where I am right now. I had a scary day today. And not for um, current event type reasons, but because I almost had to lose my job, which is something that I really, really love um, to keep my health care. I uh, only recently started this freelancing job where I make a pretty small amount of money a month because of the gig economy thing. And that whole can of worms. But it was making me really happy. <laughs> and uh, I reported the new income to my state insurance and it squeaked us over the line for our family. Um, and I got very scared and uh, told them, okay, I'll, I'll quit. I'll just stop doing it. Um, as the day has gone on and I have thought a little bit more rationally about it, I've been able to calculate out the numbers and say, okay, exactly how much was I going over by? Not very much, but in, enough that it, it wouldn't be like difficult and scary to like try to keep it under this number or you're committing insurance fraud. Like I can, it's something that I can work with. So I get to keep doing it, but that was a weird experience um, to be told that I was working too hard to uh, like and it's not even it's not even like oh well now I'm making enough money I can afford to go into the insurance marketplace and have the same level of care I cannot I could not afford it I calculated out those numbers too I don't like being told that I am not allowed to work hard. That's strange. Um, I've always had a bit of a problem with being able to work hard because of health problems. And I don't know. Anyway, it's not a good system, you guys. I'm not allowed to talk very much about what I do in my job because it's transcriptions. And, um, you know, there's privacy issues for the people who do submissions. So I won't go into details, but I want to say why it makes me as happy as it does, and why the prospect of losing it was enough to make me start crying on the phone with an insurance checker, which I'm sure made her day much more awkward than it needed to be. Um, I get to hear people talk about what they're doing to try to make the world a better place. And uh, it has just been a constant reminder that most of the people in the world are actually trying a lot harder than I was aware before I started doing this. I've recorded politicians that I've never heard of who are just keeping their head down and helping people. I've heard from teachers that are working together to make sure that their kids are getting educated before the lockdown started, you know, down to your lunch ladies and your, you know, tech bros. <laughs> there was a surprising amount of just little people trying to do the right thing in little, little ways. Aging environmental activists talking about what work they had done in the 80s or 90s. Religious leaders talking about expanding their outreach to include marginalized communities. The people are all right, in a way that I would hate to stop being exposed to. And I wish that I could go into lots and lots of detail without A, breaking the rules, and B, breaking confidentiality. Some of it will probably be worked into public things. So maybe as I find the public links to things that I've worked on, documentaries that end up happening, or whatever it is, maybe I can surreptitiously be like, this is an interesting video that I happened to find through no reason. At least to friends, but... On the whole, yeah, I've got to I got to keep a lock on it. But I uh, 
went for my walk. Decided to do this out here. It's kind of loud at my house right now. <laughs> I think that the cabin fever is starting to kick in for the three-year-old poor guy. Oh! I dropped you. I do not have a selfie stick. I don't really know what else to say, but the birds are so nice. I hope they're coming through. There's also some nice trees out here. Let's see. Oh, there's actually one right behind me. And uh, I tried to have it in the shot, but the sun's going down and I needed to, to face it. So you get this utility pole instead. Um, <laughs> none of that's probably necessary for this video. Anyway, I wanted to say, fix our healthcare system, please, because I would like to work harder. <laughs> I love you. Take care of each other.